Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Thursday, number 13 day for this month of July, 2023. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, Mr. No Koni Lukong, wuna welcome to our daily podcast, a program where they bring wuna the truth, where they bring wuna meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Our blessed people of Ambazonia across the globe, I come today for una, for tell una say our pains and our cry that they be heard internationally. Make no mistake about that. This one need to follow several feedback them what and get them. They ask them say wait till the international community it do with all the atrocity them way that they commit them within our national territory. When evil that they happen like this, we they push them to the international community for inform them and also for provide perspective with the trend for the systemic nature of the Cameroon brutality against our own people through several diplomatic means. Not be just the state parties, not be just the international community, but key input. That means some group then they will then specialize for analyze all these issues them. Then they submit them way now on those basis the way the international community they act on. Now, I don't want to say the researchers, them, big, big NGOs such as Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, they report them, it will be very important. Even us, Ambazonia, them, our own reaction, them, it also be a purse for the international community for gauge and see how grave the thing it be because person in every cry or die pass you. Unfortunately, our hearts have run cold and most of our people, them, they don't just be silenced. When I remember when the beginning of this struggle it be one start, even Al Jazeera, they be report say something they happened for that country because they get thousands upon thousands of messages for any events where it happen for ground zero. Today, most of our people they run quiet, even activists themselves they don't run quiet. All man and Joe focus now on group, even though it's something where your group it be involved or for some place where your group it did it, you know, go concern you tomorrow. You go here, they go to complain. I remember when this Canadian talk if it go on, we begin harmony bogba. Person when I start this struggle, he come up for news, he complain, say they don't go for go negotiate, they no call he. Today, things that they happen for ground where people that they die. No man in need to talk. Tomorrow, all man he go one for talk. When na time for talk, he don't reach. But nevertheless, we know say most of those communication will push them for outside for the international community, it can never be made public. So people then the way they do things in the background. Nevertheless, you also need to get that public engagement because all they go together. One of our greatest challenge now for provide evidence them for the crime the way Cameroon is committed for ground zero. They don't commit huge internationally recognized infringement for international law where they get direct obligation. But our ability for even hold them to account it be limited to the information we would get them for ground zero. Our networks for ground zero then be effective for report issue, but for gather evidence, nothing will it be lacking. Now why that would it tell our people say anytime you see La Republic du Cameroon, their military motor it pass. Take picture, even for the number, if you get the number for that motor, hide your phone, take picture, send them for we inform we for the particular location. We the monitor the issue them already, but we need more eyes and ears on the ground. If you not provide evidence, they feel run away, they feel go away with this crime. And tomorrow, it go hard for even prove and say something it be happen. When like the public it keep people, they rape people them. They, they go lie say na ambazonia the land one. How international community go even know where we we do feel say when we talk amongst our own group, it means say it don't go for our side. No, the poverty level too, it don't make them for where these people they feel shit for our head. I remember you did talk for family member the way they don't fall victim for Cameroon terrorism. So when they go even ask you money, the fee say when would they do this, what would they do, and so they get some money for back. We now need to know the cost for each Ambazonian where they put the face for outside there for fight for our country. They take it time and money and the resources them for push our case. So we need to know that this fight now a fight for all man, not be a fight for one man. 
No ever feces or money to pay you for do work for Ambazonia. Or you need compensation. No. The money first, you know, they imagine the amount of people they will get under ground zero. If all my world talk with them for one day, ask us only one one thousand. We don't know how much we're going to spend them for our life. So we need to be considerate. We need to be sacrificial. We need to work as one for a common goal. No, so the only gain we go gain them for this struggle, now the freedom and progress we will make them, without which everything has lost and everything is useless. Now we're picking this McHenry for our land. Yes, it's about seven years today of total humiliation of our mommy them, our picking them, our brothers them, and our sisters them. Some of them don't be killed and they still be killed like useless creatures. Fellow Ambazonians, the mothers of Southern Cameroons, the ran sent out invitations them for a big conference with the plan for Holam for America. The conference it will take place for the 20th to the 22nd of this July 2023 for Washington, D.C. with the theme being Southern Cameroons Unity and Collaboration for Justice and Lasting Peace. Oh, our people, they don't be, they don't fast in a very fast pace, they don't become victims of all kinds of exploitation and torture from uh, some of these our malicious so-called leaders then. Whether they enjoy they are picking them for comfort of their homes. Yes, they enjoy they are picking them, they get three square meals a day. They don't even think and calculate say, how our other brothers the way they for ground that they do. That they live now under trees. Some of them don't even get two square meals. Some of them, they don't even be able for, uh, to get medical attention. For how long we want to keep on doing this thing when the enemy they kill us? For how long we will continue to bear this kind of shame? How much longer we will get to subject our people for this kind of madness, for this kind of inhumane treatment? Not even more from the enemy, but more from us. Now, time this way, we need to do something. Yes, and if we want to do something, we must do it fast. And we must do it now because there is no other time but now it is a never again it is now or never and now to this way i don't meet up three years ago with this organization called mothers of southern cameroons now mothers them from southern cameroons where they don't they do a lot of work under the banners of mothers of southern cameroon and they be registered legally for america i meet them on ground we don't do a lot of work with them I know they always put my hand for some thin way and know they see benefit we give for come from the Ohio will help our people. When I be when they be approach me, I be tell them for give me time for do my research. I do my research about them and I be one of those beneficiaries for uh the good work with mothers of southern Cameroons that on the do. So I be beg them after I be benefit from their assistance, I be beg them, I beg them, I say they need this kind of work where they do, I may they know any them like that. May they go around they try to make sure say they bring southern Cameroonians them together. So if we put an end for this kind of torture, we I don't go through personally. I do a lot of research for them, and I say I say they don't do a wonderful job. And I wonder way they don't decide, say they go organize a conference, and they don't organize a conference. So go bring all southern Cameroonians them, no matter where you did. And this conference will take place for DC, and it will take place on the 20th to the 22nd of July. So, the conference will take place for July with such a short notice. It get very big uh, caliber. People the way the conference will be held under their auspices. Like Mark Henry, he talk. Now, personally, he don't always get a fair voice. Personally, he don't always stand for the truth and for the people, their interests. He don't put a voice as well for behind for support the conference where he come up for inside America. As he talk, we don't defeat the Republic to Cameroon. The crime the way the Republic it don't commit them against us already. It don't elevate our struggle for where we the war for listen for which we want them and for act upon it. But now so so we will hold our people them back and we need to fix that. We don't be failed by our own organization the way they don't fail for put the public interest first and do everything for unite. But be manipulated by people where they instigate insult every day trying to bring down one another with the hope that it will enable them to rise. This is a failure we have done to ourselves. Our forces as well on the ground, it's not only in the diaspora, have also been pushed into excesses that have become a pain 
in the back of all Ambazonians. On a good note, we don't get big progress then for fight against the export of cash crop towards La Republic du Cameroon. Some of those activities, they're not going to be announced every day. It's not going to be for media like before. But we're not going to see the result for ground and we're going to bring them also for now because it be important make our people then be engaged with what we do them. But wait till I want to tell our people and I say make them continue the fight against the exportation of cocoa where they go on for ground zero. I want to thank all the dark forces them together with our forces them for instance Mavas for the wonderful action where they don't take them for assist our farmer them because farmers them alone they not be fight. They soldier them for ground zero. Now they vanguard them where they need for make sure so they ensure so they go guarantee the public interest. Any motto any u trade union will like the public did put them under pressure me they come buy our cocoa me they come buy our cash crop for carry and go with and for me that moto you know survive for see the next day now so it will continue made a good job it continue for ground when i see how they want it i'm paying the republic now for tell when i say the haiti solution the haiti solution now the perfect route where ambazonia get them a clear win for us especially when the report for La Republic, their financial situation, it did come out. We need to take full advantage for put a complete stop. It actually be beneficiary for our people and for the sell their product for Nigeria. For our picking for the go for higher education for Nigeria. Than for the go for Cameroon, for place them where they go to insult you, marginalize you, treat you with disrespect. For place where university campus them, student quarter them, minicite, you know be safe again for our students. Make we do the right thing. Look at our traditional leaders and the slave trade. We blame the whites for the slave trade we went through. We blame the whites that they offended us. They took us as slaves. But let's wait for a minute. Who sold the black man to the whites? Who sold the black man to the whites? Our own traditional leaders. The enemy is not outside. The enemy is within. If we are asking the Europeans, the enemy is indeed within. When, as this pastor in the talk, would he blame white man for slave trade? Would he forget for no say the people the way they be the do the slave trade for our side? Not them be the enable that slave trade make it happen. Today, now who the Kiwi, Cameroon in the attack Ambazonia na village by village. Now who them the sell we for the Cameroon they can kill them. Now the so called the mayor them. I mean all the mayor them. All the so-called senators and parliamentarians, not them, not they resell we, not them, they de take pressure for La Republic, not they de take money for La Republic, they call quarter head them, they call traditional ruler them, not they chief them, where they don't go join the house of chiefs, not them, not they resell we, not they de put pressure, not they de even invite La Republic to come up a military base for here, not them, don't sell we. Before we want to point hand for La Republic, we are the true enemy. May we not forget, say, now nah, our own them. Because without those, our own, the way they stand with Paul Bia, without them, we did they enable Paul Bia, Paul Bia enough to do anything, enough to commit any atrocity, enough to attack any village, he go free. For inside come the chief, Mboni Chas, we na money doubler. Now, man, we be money doubler before he want to enter for the chief tenancy. They don't spoil all our tradition. Put only thief people them for insights and achieve them. Thieves, criminals, dressed with clothes of chiefs, elites, murderers, like Antaranji Pauls, are the ones who have become our so-called elites. Those who are living in exile. They're enablers. These are the people who have sold us. As La Republic, it go from village to village. I want to make any village in no say all ambazonia them we know the people the way that they defied we for any village all man know the person when i call camaro military all man know the person when i support this camaro regime the person way that they want make this ambazonian struggle if fail we all know them but would the all would she don't quiet would you see how the go can enter for inside babanki then key people we we'll see how the chief he go come out he go pretend for talk tomorrow that same chief he go to come for inside babanki Say me the people that listen for you now, they want to bring peace. We don't see the one for inside Boyo. We don't see the murderer them. 
These people, the way now they deal with them, we now they call Camaro military, we all know them. We all know them. But themselves, they know forever act if they not be, be enabled by the silence of the good ones. Them. Because people then they way they, they give you information, you go look and say, but look this man. You they give this information. No, now for stand the talk self for public. If we be stand the talk, the cry. We will do for diaspora, we know for even the do it to the do them. Just see where to where a folk come, it don't come out talk. Them. If people then for instance come, the phone for instance come say self, if we stand up up, we talk. If all the sub chief them for instance Babanki, they be stand up, all the pastor them for instance Babanki, they stand up then talk. What's that use for diaspora for day? What's that use for activists for day? Imagine if they come chief, when I be the most respected person for instance come, he stand up, he talk, say, now who key this big mommy? Why la Republic will not can enter key this big mommy? This governor will not come and say, I can't shoot down a meeting for now. I no go enter any meeting for una if una no answer me. If it be talk so she don't, if the Presbyterian church then talk so then she don't, if the elite them for Yaounde then talk so then she don't, the diaspora then wait and they for meeting them for the own Jangi group then talk so then she don't. We for run win La Republic. They will resolve this matter. La Republic he gave hope now because of those who they run she don't quiet. They know say the people there they're supposed to talk. They go fear the one the way. They defied we. Because we get na three level them. You get the enablers, you get the collaborators, and you get the black legs. The silence of those who will not say that the good one them. Now he they open this door for this devil them for come for inside Ambazonia. As much as we push this issue, the American embassy this year for war refugee day, they don't even mention Ambazonian refugee them anymore because of the failure. Of those who are silent in everything look at what has happened i don't need to even quote this issue again because i have quoted enough look at what happened no objective people can stand up and speak everybody is sheep everybody is hiding even within our organizations the organizations have failed why because the people who knows what is going on have decided to choose to be quiet to go along because they want to buy their face they discern our people, they discern that the struggle tomorrow we will ask ourselves, who shall we blame? But the good news I get for tell our people, then I say, they hear our voice. We don't campaign hard and we push our issue them. Me, they know so. Maybe we we'll continue for gather evidence for ground zero. We we'll do better for gather evidence because without those evidence, then Pobia will get away with this crime the way they commit them within our territory. Today, I go bring one of the report of the human rights watch way down of our stay it that make almost a week already since we promised them so that make our population be engaged with all these diplomatic engagements and especially as the people that they ask them for ground zero say what is the international community doing our traditional leaders and the slave trade we blame the whites for the slave trade we went through we blame the whites that they offended us they took us as slaves but let's wait for a minute who sold the black man to the whites? Who sold the black man to the whites? Our own traditional leaders. The enemy is not outside. The enemy is within. If we are So, for all our traditional leaders who have chosen to be quiet when they slaughter your own people, your silence is complicity. Your silence is directly linked with the suffering of your people. That goes to all the elites. Capo Daniel, signing out, looking out for you.